What's up out there? Welcome back to Melvoretal Adventure Mode. This is episode 30. Uh, we are 30 episodes deep and just about done with all the skills. And this is a place that I really never thought I would be. All the non-combat skills are done. Almost all of the combat skills are done. I finished off Slayer and I finished off Magic. So those are it. I have one half of a level to go for ranged. And this account will have max skill cape coming soon. <laughs> Uh, I think I might let this run today. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. I may do this tomorrow. I am currently working on astrology, and you can see we've pretty well got, I don't know, a lot of... I'm only at 80 on a lot of these, and I've still got a long way to go. Um, I don't really have a lot of sand. Um, some of these, like I got this Slayer skill. I need to change that. I kind of let that slide, but I need to re-roll these. Um... So I need to re-roll a bunch of this stuff. I need to figure out what the most important ones to re-roll first are going to be. We are in in-game now. Um, we've been in it. we've been in the in-game, I guess. But now we're really looking at trying to go into into the mist. Uh, we're going to clear out the at least the air god, water god, and earth god dungeon. And by clear out, um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get all the pets from these things. Uh, for this account, it's not going to be a completion account. It will not be a completion account, but some of these pets offer some bonuses, like you get extra Slayer coin, extra mastery, accuracy, things like that. These don't do a whole lot, but having them would be better than not having them. So if I'm going to go in and grind these dungeons out, then I'm going to definitely try to get those. Uh, the big thing in a lot of these is going to be the gear. Like I don't really have any of the, well, I think I'm full on the Eris gear with this guy, but like the uh, Glacier gear. I need to get a few pieces, and with the Earth God, I definitely need to finish off all this stuff here. Fire God, I'm not terribly concerned with, but he does have some cool pieces in here. Um, I might try this big old Ron with this account. I did not with the other one. Um, some of this higher end stuff, it just you need the shield that you carry. So oh, I don't know. We'll see how that shakes out. How if I get sick of it? Um, we are definitely looking at into the mist soon. Um, the cool thing is I am on vacation this week, so I'm hoping that I can get up and do a run of this uh, and just record it since we're here with this account. Um, somebody was asking about showing more of my standard account, which I can certainly do because it's further into the end game. But now that we are with the end game, I want to start recording and maybe even some of these dungeons. I think I'm going to save these for hardcore and then I'll do uh, the I'll probably do into the mist on hardcore also, but at least we're here. I can start showing some of these, the hardcore, because if I die and die, I get that, you know, you can get that response there. But um, for this one, I, it'd be more just because, hey, I'm here and we're going to do this. Uh, so pretty well ground everything out. We are on master tasks. I have to finish this ranged off. Um, let's see. The grinding that I was doing was to collect this fury of the elemental zodiacs this thing is a royal pain in the ass to collect because you have to get tons of all these different you got to get 10 of the amulets of torture the fury and then you have to get two of each of these amulets and they basically take a hundred of each of these twice because you need two so you got to get a hundred accuracy and a hundred uh magic glory defense well 200 of each so the last, I think the last grind that I had was with the, I think I had already ground out the accuracy one. I had not bothered with the magic and I think it was strength. I had to grind this out, something like that. Was, there was like two that I needed. So that's basically what I did was come in here and I was working on mummies, whatever mummies have the strength. Yeah, I was working on mummies and let's see the magic dude that was over here in the tower, this guy. For the Amulet of Magic. So I had to grind those two out. I remember early on with this particular account. I did spend the time to get the Amulet of Ranged. Um, wherever that thing is. I got a whole bunch of them in fact. <laughs> got three extras. But I was grinding this out because it gave me arrows and stuff like that. Like I needed other bits to it. So. Um, I figured that was a good opportunity early on. I have not done that with like my hardcore account and it's definitely, I'm feeling that because this one was real quick to get the final pieces for it. That other one's kind of dragging on. So it's kind of interesting. I'm doing certain things in parallel. So and I just did this yesterday, finished this off. 
So we have this thing. Um, what this gives you is just a bunch of bonuses and you get a little bit of extra damage reduction. I am not sure if this is the best damage reduction you can get. Uh, let's see, this gives you five. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to hit this. This gives you two. I guess this does give you decent damage reduction. <sighs> no, this gives you three. Where did I get five from? Oh, strength. Boy, it's early in the morning. All right, there's damage reduction. <sighs> really early in the morning. So you get... Yeah, all right. <laughs> Forget that. Uh, I really haven't looked at this thing. I don't use this much on my standard account. I don't want to lose it if I die. And I don't really see the need for it. Um, I'm sure there's benefits and everything to it. But with where I'm at on the end game, like this is kind of... There's maybe ranged or magic would use it. But like my, my um, melee character has got so much other crap and plugged into him that this really isn't good for him. Um, but this does give benefits to everybody. So this will boost everything you've got. Uh, it is definitely, if you're doing a completion, you have to get this. Um, but it is definitely worth getting for a couple of reasons. Like if you wanted to get, say, three of these things, um, and I'm considering that quite honestly, maybe, I'm not sure yet. But one of these things will clear out all this crap out of your inventory. So like I can get rid of all these right here. And free up, you know, five spaces, whatever. So, that's a cool thing. Um, the problem is we're going to start using, like, this Hunter's Ring to get the Slayer coin, the skill, well, I don't need skill, but the, the area negation, things like that. We're going to need this Hunter's Ring a lot more uh, going forward. Because once you start getting into these Slayer areas, this stuff really starts these evasion ratings and attack interval and... Um, well, this thing, this healing or hit points every two turns, the, all this stuff really starts to hurt. And these things, well, maybe not the Badlands, but definitely in the peaks, especially once you get into the dark waters, uh, it, these things in general pretty much take all the items and skills you have to complete. Like this, and, and the, this stuff's even worse. Uh, make sure you have plenty of food and things like that. So... I don't have a ton of food. I'm going to have to start making food in here. Um, let's see. What else we got? And I am working on this astrology thing. I'm just chugging this thing along in the background. Um, you know, the big debate about whether whether um, accuracy or hidden the hidden levels are better. Um, I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. I, I'm thinking about spinning maybe this account or my standard account off. Um, and then saving it reloading it somewhere and then you know reloading it as a test account and then just letting it run on this all the time not sure on that one though uh maybe i'll do that this week now that i got time off but i'm still trying to figure out how to get this done i still need to redo some of these um deciding which direction i want to go i i still think i'm leaning towards the attack level or the hidden levels versus the accuracy i think that's where the benefit is the more broad benefit like the accuracy you're going to have more accuracy but there's more benefits in the hidden stuff anyway i think i don't know um i don't know that's kind of where we're at uh the next thing i'm going to do is finish off um ranged which now that i have the zodiac amulet and all that kind of thing um probably just start going right into the air god dungeon or uh water god because he's pretty well geared for it oh, it's already there i guess He's pretty well geared for it. Although, did I sell some of his gear? Nope. Well, no, I still have his full gear <sighs> because I was geared up towards um, all the Slayer areas. I don't think there's anything I want out of here. I don't think there's anything I would use. Recoil shield, maybe, but uh, the Hunter's Ring, I definitely wanted. I don't think this thing drops anything I want either. Nah. Like, those aren't things that I've used in my standard account, so I probably won't use them here. May test the waters a little bit, but um, from this point forward, that's what we're going to be looking at, is basically grinding out these air dun or the god dungeons. Um, these three, anyway, air, water, and earth. Get the gear out of that. Gear up my characters for Into the Mist. 
like the uh, melee character, he's severely lagging. He needs like three pieces of gear, I think. Uh, need a few more pieces here. I don't think I need anything else here. But I'm going to clear those dungeons out and get all the gear at least. Try to get the pet. So I'll probably just clear everything out of them anyway. And also reminds me, I'm going to have to start saving things because... Once you get into this grind, this unhallowed wasteland, um, these things, all this stuff takes stuff from the God dungeons and it takes like a number of pieces from the God dungeon, not just one, but you need like 10 of certain items. And it, that's a really long grind. I actually had to stop on my standard account, come back into one of these, one of the, um, dungeons, one of the God dungeons and collect some more gear because I was, I didn't have enough. So I'm going to have to pay attention to that with this account because now that I know, I'm going to have to grind more. But that will do it for this episode. Uh, it's a very productive week. I'm in a very good place with this account. Um, go right back into uh, the dungeons tomorrow. I think I'm going to probably spend today working on astrology just to, because we're getting ready for the end game grind. I want to be there uh, ready to go. I think we're good to go here. Uh, I could probably turn this one over to this agility over to which one is it? Um, this, this top one. I could probably turn this on. This will give gold from thieving. Uh, the coal stones would, you know, you get a little bit of resource preservation, some thieving gold from thieving and some healing value. But the kicker is you lose 4% gold or global skill XP. I did not want that while I was trying to level the rest of these items up. So I'll, I might take that now. Uh, the other thing I was rocking, I guess I would point out, I didn't have it on. Oh, it was because I was in a Slayer area. So I was doing the fire making skill, skill cape and the, um, oh, the little combat ring just to get extra XP. But I think I'm kind of at the point where it doesn't matter now. I'll be leveled up quick enough. So, into the God Dungeons we go. Um, with the actual characters that are supposed to be in there, not my melee character pounding around in there. Um, so, that will do it for this episode, and we will catch you on the next one. Take care.